Alright, welcome back everybody. It's another uh, episode for the CB Rivals podcast. We have just had round four behind us on last Sunday um, on the Harlem Fjord map. Uh, it's been pretty amazing games. There's uh, been quite a few big developments actually, both in the uh, Feudal Division and in the Rustic Division. Uh, so we'll talk more about those games later. And we'll also look forward to next week where we also have way more games ahead of us as well, of course, as we actually only have three rounds left. So. Uh, the standings are really starting to shape up and we might be getting closer to see who gets to win the season. Um, one of those teams that might not actually win the season is unfortunately No Beaches. Um, and today with me I got two players from No Beaches, Machin and Arkanopa. Welcome guys. Hi. Hello. Hey, hey, and welcome. And also with me of course is Corto, the amazing or tournament organizer oh. who's helping me out so much. Uh, Corto, welcome to you as well. How, hey, hello, yeah, how has your uh, Sunday been with the casting? Um, I casting the, the French match with uh, Mr. Nara. Nice. So uh, I see uh, Argonos vs uh, Wild Blood and uh, Nobish vs Pleb. Excellent. Did you like it? Yes. It was a very interesting match, and uh, particularly uh, Pleb vs uh, Nobish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That was one game that was really fun. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about that game for sure. Um, but before we do that, uh, Matchin and Arkanop, I want to introduce you guys. Uh, Matchin, you are the team captain for No Beaches, of course, and Arkanop, you are a player for No Beaches, but also a caster. Um, you've been casting any other game except for the No Beaches games, um, together with Mr. Nara. You also were there last season, so thank you for doing all that. Um, and then Matchin, you are actually the player who played with Eclorides a long time ago in our tournament too, which I was casting back then. Um, yeah. So I know you a little bit, I hope at least, uh, but we'll get to know both of you way better uh, after the, the, through this podcast, so uh, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to, uh, Arkanop was with me in Eclarides, like uh, we was boss, uh, you know, the guys who was leading the team and uh, starting the, for, the, for the team. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we was like Aurora on the HUI2 at this time, we was uh, doing the, the tournament. Yeah. And after the season 7, we do a big break. And so the team Eclairedes break too uh, with us, like all the, all the community stuff. Mm -hmm. And we come back on the game uh, around the end of the season 9. And uh, in season 10, I get the offer to join the Eden team, who was only one, who was a mm -hmm. really good team. And so I was, you know, I was happy because, uh, uh, like, we don't want to build up the team again with Arcana because uh, do a tournament team was too long. Even more since they had the, the customize, because so, you can do so, some scheme. Yeah. And so but, uh, I was still, you know, passionate in the tournament because this this is for me like the the max uh, level that you can reach in the game. Hmm. Yeah. And so when I get this offer with uh, Arcana, get an offer uh, in Eden 2, uh, we go for it because we were like happy to just be player at least. <laughs> and so after uh, after some big adventure come because uh, yeah like the the last team of Eden uh, the whole captain was too busy and uh, that has too much time to be captain and so he want to stop mm -hmm. and so like he disbanded the team because of it and because of uh, we got some people who want to go out of the team but uh, when this happened most of the player who was in Eden you know was a bit uh, uh, sad about it because they still want to keep playing so. Uh, like everyone motiv motivate uh, each other to to build up the team again, and so mm -hmm. we build up no beaches on the on what uh, what was there from uh, from Eden, <laughs> uh, like people from Ghost and uh, like some some important people who make uh, you know a bit uh, the the mood of the team, mm -hmm. and so we start from this, and uh, was like the most important was for us to don't be uh, relegate as first. Yeah, that can sure. be <laughs> that can be weird because no, no, it's, it's fine. But like at the start when you build up a team, and uh, even me, because uh, you know mm -hmm. I was stretching and. Uh, uh, like colliding with Arcana in season seven, but that was far away and uh, in another time and with another type of tournament. So I was not sure that I would be able to, to you know, to lead a team. Yeah, even more because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah, exactly. uh, Arcana is not that much uh, here to help me like the whole time because he's doing uh, like something else. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was a bit scared, but uh, I'm happy of the result now, to be honest. Yeah, you can be proud of it. So um, I, I actually want to do something that I also did with the other guest the last couple of weeks, um, and that is the following. So. Um, I I'll just say something, just, just just one word or maybe two, and then uh, you just have to react to it, okay? With with any okay. word, ju just one word, okay? Okay. Uh, Meshin, I'll start with you. Um, let's go. Uh, all right, uh, Jack Ultras. The the team or the player? Just like react the with the 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 first oh. word that comes to mind. Jack Ultras. Good for me. <laughs> all right, uh, C tier. <laughs> uh, what you say? C tier. Uh, what? Don't 
Sorry. Don't get it. Ah, uh, C tier. Ah, uh, C tier? Yeah. Oh, yeah, C tier. Oh, yeah, C tier. Ah, uh, I was D tier. <laughs> I was D bit D tier, but. Uh, D -tier. D -tier. Oh, D tier like even. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was D tier. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I well. like it. You like it? Okay, good, good, good. It, uh, it gave you get good results, at least. Let, let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, Arkanopa, uh, playing or casting? Um, casting. All right. Uh, Machian, Glaive? Of course, but then Nikki. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's good to go then. <laughs> right, let's leave it there. Yeah, so um, one of the things I, I remember the most about you, Machian, from our tournament too, is that you were the one like getting all the MVPs almost for Eclariders. Uh, with the Glaive, you were almost only, I think, the only person playing the Glaive in the tournament. Um, yep. How do you feel thinking back about those days, like long, long, ago, long, long, long time ago and now? No. I want to cry a river as first, because yeah. <laughs> uh, at this time in season seven with my ultimate, I was hitting the third K damage, mm -hmm. so it was something. <laughs> and now if I reach 10K, I'm happy. So I feel like <laughs> the, my games and the booming want to destroy the fan of a glass player. So I have to accept it. No, it's trash weapon in the meta. I accept as a support, but you know, mm -hmm. when you was the biggest player of a hero that you got in the game and you became a support, yeah. you feel that like you don't play the same weapon. And so, even if I love the weapon, I love the design, and I have to say goodbye to it to be a meta slave. Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> it is gone. It's unfortunate, but it is. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, Arkanopo, so for you, uh, how did you actually become a caster? Like, why did you want to do it? Well, basically, we we, we felt like uh, we actually it was matching idea at mm. first because uh, uh, at that time I think it was still uh, Eden was still on. No bitches was not created yet. It was last season. And at that time, so uh, I uh, I was uh, only a sub for Eden, and as I was not playing, I was like, okay, but uh, I still love tournament experience and all. So ha, ha, what can we do? And so Machine said, uh, maybe what you could do is cast uh, cast uh, games. I mean, it's true that there is not actually a lot of casters that have ex uh, tournament experience mm -hmm. or that have that have had like a go tournament experience, like going into the final or semi final. Uh, so we felt like we we could bring bring something out. And also, and this is the interest that we wanted to bring with Astrog, uh, with Aurora, uh, we are actually kind of using it as a teaching tool for mm. our players. We're nice. explaining how the rotation works, why uh, in those games you, you are going to say like, okay, now you're in the, in the dev time. Uh, I mean, no, but nothing is going on. You have one minute before the push. What you what you're going to want to do is just to do right, left, right, left, right, left. Mm -hmm. to try to out rotate to find an, an option, an, an opening. And actually, a lot of those information that are working in tournaments can actually translate to TW. Oh, nice, this nice, nice. also helps us to improve the game vision of our players. Yeah, I, like I mean, it. of any players that wants to come, of course. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. uh, yesterday, because as as the map were short, a mm -hmm. bit short. There was like kind of like a 30 minutes between each game, and so at some point I said, "With uh, can we swear or not?" Sorry. Oh sure, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I was I was a story. I said, yeah, "Fuck it," and I opened <laughs> the the strategy tool that we use for the strategy for TW. I just mm -hmm. took the Helium uh, <laughs> map. It was like, okay, so when you're attacking, you you're going to want to do either that, either that. You have several mm -hmm. options, and I'm and I just went through. To, it was really good. Uh, Good waiting time stuff, yeah, and, exactly. I, and with Astarog, we just went through all the different options that the team usually have on this map, and the different options that we saw once with uh, Love and Devotion, and we explained why it didn't work. Mm -hmm. we, we had the time, we took the time because during the game, it's it's not that easy to properly explain everything that's going yeah, on, for sure. especially from a macro perspective. Yep. Well, it's, it's, it, it is such a big game in the end, right? It's 15 v 15. Yeah. There's so many units, so many yeah. heroes, everything. Uh, so it's it's really nice that you take the time to explain all of, all of that. Um, we've been talking about some other team captains, like wanting to do like uh, picking, taking one fight and analyzing it, uh, like understanding really what's happened. So, like that could be really interesting. Um, I, I I actually listened to a few of your uh, uh, streams, the casts, and uh, I noticed that you guys are like really excited uh, when you're casting. Of course, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good, it's good. We are passionate about the game. That's something. This game is unique. There is mm -hmm. no equivalent. How can you not be passionate about this game? Yeah, I can only fully agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> just really fun. So even if you don't watch understand it. French, just just go watch it. We, we yeah. are kind of stuff because it's, it's it's so fun. Yeah. J'en profite pour ajouter que ouais, enfin, tant, tant que je vous ai là, je crois que je vous l'avais déjà dit une fois, mais c'est vrai que vos commentaires sont très techniques et c'est vraiment agréable d'avoir voilà d'autres euh, 
de type de commentaires qu'on peut avoir d'habitude et, et, euh, et avoir toutes vos explications qui expliquent un peu pour tout. C'est toujours intéressant d'avoir un terme très ludique et euh, ouais, c'est vraiment sympa à avoir. Enfin, c'est ça, on essaie de se mettre sur un créneau qui n'est pas forcément celui de, de autres. Enfin, on essaie d'avoir notre truc, quoi. De... On ouais. essaie de se positionner sur un... Je vous le bien. Ah, merci beaucoup, en tout cas, ça fait plaisir. Thank you very much. Yeah, alright. Really appreciate it. Quick translation for me, just for me. Yeah, oh, basically he said that, that uh, he already told us that once, but it was, uh, uh, but uh, he's saying it again, that uh, he really likes uh, the, the different comments uh, that we like the, the kind of the teaching thing the, ah, the yeah. explanation the i don't know if i can say ludic in english but like basically just how we we go over stuff that are not that uh easy to see mm -hmm. uh, from the first point of view see like we we kind of like to go a bit in depth like when, when we're saying when we're seeing somebody going away we're going to try to to guess what's in what, what is he trying to do is yeah. he trying to flank is he trying to close the door uh if he's closing the door is it going to bring something this is basically what Yeah, exactly. All right, really nice. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, we... <laughs> no, 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 Let's move on because then we have more yep. time to, to talk about anything else that you want to talk about as well. And also we want to talk about the, the, the No Beaches team because you guys have been doing really well. Um, so I, what I want to do is just go over the games that have been played. Um, I'll just bring them, up, bring them up and you can actually see them or you should be able to see them on the uh, screen. Uh, if I do it right, let's see. Do it like this. Hang on there. I need to do for me. Yeah, that's better. All right, here we go. And there we have it. All right, good. So you can see it now. Um, so let's start with the play-in division. We'll just go quickly over the games, guys, this time because uh, we have plenty of stuff to talk about. Um, play-in division, Crypta versus Looking for Team. Crypta won it uh, quite convincingly. Second game was unfortunately the very first game that actually had artillery being placed and that meant automatic oh, yeah. loss for Looking for Team in the second game, so really sad. Um, Divinity versus Impact Esport was actually hilarious. Uh, Susno casted that game in English. Um, Impact almost lost their second game against Divinity because Divinity sallied out and they just did some crazy stuff on the island short. Almost won it, but they they gave it away in the end. Uh, was really sad um, to see, but Impact still undefeated now. Wildblood versus versus Argonautis was a really good game, I think. Really good match, uh, very close on both ends. Um, so definitely, uh, if, if you want to follow the, the play in division, do, because most teams are pretty equally matched, it seems like. Um, yeah, Corto, you casted Argonautas, right? And did you as well? Or did you? Yes. Arca? Yeah, you did, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I was on Crypto, I was just looking for... Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we see. I see the, this match, and uh, it was a good match. And I think uh, Argonaut, fan, no, not really. Argonaut make a, a big mistake on the, the defense mm -hmm. because uh, she they, they start all on the B defense on mm -hmm. point B, and uh, it's okay because uh, the most of attackants are on the B point, attack yeah. the B point. Okay, but they have one guy on to to keep the A point, mm -hmm. and uh, at the beginning it's uh, one versus one. And after it's one versus two, <laughs> and after it's one versus three, and uh, I think it's the channel. The guy say, "Help me, guy! Help me! I'm alone! I'm alone!" <laughs> But uh, no one move, and uh, they forget completely the, the A point. So uh, they move too late, and uh, the A point move um, down very quickly. Yeah. So uh, and after it, they make a good defense on the. Um, on the last point, on C point, but uh, on this match it's very difficult. Yeah, for sure, C point is definitely different, difficult. And yeah, you could see it in more games that teams were focusing very hard on A or B, of course, and then some teams just forgot about the other point and they lost it. They just couldn't rotate quick enough. But, yeah, uh, yeah, and but... they know if there was a mistake on mm -hmm. this. And the after on the attack, uh, they make uh, they make a push. It's uh, it's okay. They try, if I remember well, they try to to go. Uh, um, by the the bridge or the le mm -hmm. comment dit la brèche la brèche du mur the bridge the bridge the bridge yeah, of the, the wall and uh, so it was uh, it was okay they make a good fight on the last point mm -hmm. and uh, it was not easy but uh, they win at the final yeah, yeah exactly yeah so it was one one that was really good um, then if we go to the standing right now oh yeah okay. I still have my voice somewhere. Oh, it's a Greek order, but that's okay. All right, so if we go to the standings, uh, Impact Esports totally undefeated right now. Uh, they have yet to lose any game. 
So very, uh, very impressive from them. They might even make it to the highest division next season. Um, they have 12 points now. Argonautas following them uh, with six points, one win, and three ties. That's crazy. And then Wildblood, one win, two ties. They have yet to get another game in. Crypta, one win, one loss, two ties, five points also. By old school, uh, zero wins, one tie, two losses, two points. Looking for team, uh, two losses, one tie for one point. And Divinity still without any win, unfortunately. They are, did look good though in their second game against uh, Impact Esports. So that is the standings for uh, the playing division. If we go to the Rustic division, um, we have the following results. And uh, this one is going to be pretty exciting, I think. I hope at least. Um, we had Odin's Legion versus Love and Devotion, 2-0. For Odin's Legion, um, they're still fighting for that second or first place. We got Mungers against Triarchy. Triarchy actually picking up their very first win against Baguette Mungers. They are no longer the team oh, without the any game. single win. Yes, <laughs> GG Triarchy. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they finally did it. They are now on their way to third place at least. Um, I, I I can confirm. Uh, so we'll, we'll see more from them uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Chocolate Paladins against Holy Crusaders, the NA rivalry uh, was 1-1. Uh, small <laughs> reminder though that there were a few subs because of Father Days uh, in, in both teams. This was agreed before the match. Uh, there was a bit of drama, of course, uh, because I hadn't uh, like announced it properly before. Uh, but it's all, all, it was all fair. The, the match was like fair and that's what mattered. Um, so it didn't affect any other team as well. And then YA versus Kebabs, that was a very interesting and uh, like pretty exciting fights that were going on there um both teams winning the uh winning the now oh, we gotta say this right winning the attack yeah winning yeah. the attack yeah. yeah they are not the same exactly um so they tied and that means that now uh they could still uh both go to first place because they have tied in points uh, as you can see in the standings ya and kebabs having 10 points right now three wins and one tie Followed by Odin's Legion, three wins and one loss, only lost against Kebabs. And, and Odin's Legions have yet to play YAA, so if Odin's Legion win against YAA and Kebabs lose any points somewhere, then Odin's Legion can still get first place, uh, Kebab can get first place, YAA can get first place, like anyone can still get first place there. Um, Holy Crusaders with seven points, Chocolate Paladins with four points, Triarchy with three points now, Love and Devotion and Maget Majors with only one point, having tied against each other. Um, yeah, so that's the standings for the Rustic Division. Anything you guys want to add to what you've seen? Mm, I mean, I'm happy to see Odin at the at this place because mm -hmm. Odin is like the you know he was the a bit the second team of Eden uh, before because it's uh, like a lot of people from Eden. No. And so he was practicing them a lot, and uh, we still do it a bit with Novichis. We scream them like most of the week. So I'm happy to see that they finally you know find the, mm -hmm. a way to play and. Uh, you know, it's the division. This division is not easy, to be honest. It's no, not. Really. It's not free. So yeah, yeah it's absolutely. cool to see them at the top. Yeah, yeah. And I'm. I'm really surprised. Yeah, I'm. I'm a bit surprised by Odin's. I gotta say, uh, like last season, at the end of the season, they were picking up some wins, and you could see they were improving. But they really started so strong in this season, and um, yeah, I'm. I'm really impressed by how they played so far. So I hope they get to continue to fight well and uh, and see if like in the in the last round that could almost be a finals. YAA versus Odin's Legion. So that's yeah. going to be very, very hype if, if everything goes according to, to plan, you could say. So I we'll mean, see. Did, did this yesterday, I mean, of course, Love and Devotion is not having their best season mm -hmm. so far. Yeah. But the, the Odin's Legion play, plays were really, really convincing. Mm -hmm. Like when Love, I don't know if you've seen the match, but when Love and Devotion tried the cheese of going 15B, basically Odin's Legion scouted that. They managed to get there in time. And like the first unit trade, it's like, 200 unit loss for Love and Devotion, six unit loss for Odin's Legion. <laughs> yeah, six. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. That's gotta be some damn synchronization going there. Mm -hmm. It's it's really really good, and not all team can do that. Yep. Yeah. Lo only losing six units is absolutely insane. That's that's very exactly. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. So this 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 uh, division is definitely very exciting. Um, the top three uh, might go to the highest division next season. Um, if everything goes according to plan, we can talk about it later as well. So, um, YA, Kebabs and Odin is definitely looking strong, but uh, Holy Crusaders, Chocolate, maybe even Triarchy, if they all like win their last two or three games, they could still also make it to third place. So, anything can happen here, it's really exciting. It's a, it's a nice division to watch. Um, and all those teams are like starting to scrim and practice more and more and more. So, that's really good. Um, all right, let's go to the Feudal Division then. Uh, we're just uh, rushing this a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have a question for you on the heuristic division. Yeah, sure. Uh, if I if I don't wrong, uh, it's the first uh, victory for Tuyashi. Yeah. So, are you uh, something to say on this? On this uh, well, what do I have to say here? Um, yeah, we are finally starting to get good. That's it, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then you like. No, seriously. Uh, I think like the, the Triker team is very focused on TWs. Like oh, oh, it, for Triker, it's, it's it's very much about the, the the TWs, and like we only scrimmed like once in a week, maybe like not even every week we have scrimmed. And I think last week was the first week that we actually scrimmed someone seriously on the Friday. I think uh, we lost it hard. I gotta say, Our, well, yeah, we lost it hard. <laughs> um, but at least we, we had some practice um, and then we just decided in the game to like be very aggressive and decisive and that's that's what we did so uh, we, we had a different shot color as well that made a big difference I think um, so like the players Deep are to the old one. But, yeah, <laughs> but like for, totally for me like, uh, I'm happy to see team like you you know even if they are losing they keep coming and they keep trying and uh, yeah, exactly. improving that's, that's the mindset of the tournament yeah, yeah uh, actually the, the reason why uh, I'm the same same opinion as Machin because the reason why we love that so much is actually we did exactly that with a clear death. Mm -hmm. because you said season seven but we yeah. started tournament in season six and holy shit we go we got our ass our yeah. ass is handed to us so many times like we started I, I remember I will always remember first tournament match ever home guard yeah we got like <laughs> five minutes absolutely so, right yeah so we were like okay there's the something we're not doing good here and, and that's how you that's how you improve yeah you exactly. just keep your moral your moral up and and you just keep on yeah. going forward yeah true yeah that's so, definitely true like i i really absolutely. enjoyed when teams just stick together and keep keep going that's the same for tricky like because exactly. it's it's such a good group of players or like friends players that just stick together they just want to keep keep having fun and sometimes it's not always fun when you only lose of course but same with Eclaritis yeah it was almost like a Cinderella story seeing you guys go to the semi-final eventually um yeah it's pretty pretty good so yeah anything can happen if you just keep practicing having fun getting better together and yeah it's it's really exactly it's really so much fun if you play the tournaments and that's that's what makes it so cool to organize and do all of this so mm. yeah all right. Um, yeah. So maybe more about Triarchy and Eclariders later. Um, but let's go to the field <laughs> division. <laughs> oh, next week's are going to be so hard. Anyway. Um, okay. Field division round four. <laughs> Pondgard versus Blame Elias. Uh, Pondgard lost 2-0 to Blame Elias. Uh, Blame Elias still showing that they are pretty strong. But Pondgard did have trouble, of course, getting their place in with Father's Day. Um, so they will be back stronger next week, hopefully, against No Beaches. Actually. So get ready, guys. Um, Surf Slayer versus Slot Blockers, uh, easy win for, for Surf Slayer, I gotta say. Uh, Plaps versus No Beaches, Plaps 1 2 0. We will talk about talk more about that match, match for sure because you guys are here. Um, and it was a really big match uh, for the standings, but also just um, seeing how good Plaps are because No Beaches was one of the teams that actually showed that they are pretty strong, uh, tying against Surf Slayer last week as well. And then Rose versus Slavs, it, there was a tie 1 to 1. Um, I would say unfortunate for both of those teams because now it will be harder for them to get out of the uh, like the bottom two or the bottom three. Um, and either of those teams needed a win uh, to get somewhere. Um, all right, so for the standing, we have Plebs first with undefeated still, 12 points, really strong showing. Surf Slayer following them with 10 points. No Beaches on seven points. Blamelias on six points. Slavs four, Pondegard three, Rose two, and Slot Blockers last with one point. Um, this means that Surf Slayer uh, needs to win against Plebs and then they could still like take the win and that will actually also be the last game of the season. Could you believe it? So both the Rustic and the Feudal Division, division might be decided in the last round of this season. Cryptid. It should, it should, when we see the planning of Surf, it should be at the end of the, like the last match will be the, the most important. Yeah, for sure, right? That like okay, how, how hype is that? Yeah, so that will be really fun. Crazy. Yeah, that will be crazy. Um, and... You know, maybe you not know, but there is big tension between the, the two teams. You know, Pleb lose the CBL against them, yep. uh, and they still you know don't like uh, the idea that they lose. Yeah, still, sure. they don't lose anything in CBL rivals. So yeah, exactly. Lose, like one game against Pongwar, so yeah. like both teams want to prove Surf, Surf didn't tryhard last season mm -hmm. uh, the CBL rival. No, they full tryhard it so. Even me, you know, as a spectator, I'm curious to see. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, how, 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 how good is this story? Like, like you said, yeah. but like with all the past tournaments, like getting here, it's like perhaps the clear favorite Surf Slayer. 
wants the favorite now trying to get back to it it's it's like like, like really good story yeah it's crazy yeah. Uh, and like you know we, we create some trouble because we do a draw against uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> no they have to win but, but uh, it, yeah, yeah that's true that's true yeah, they can't even tie it out. yeah that, is that is sad so normally if yeah so if surf slayer had beaten you uh get also giving them 12 points then if surf slayer and plebs had tied in the last round they would get to play the tiebreaker match but now if they tie Plebs will be the winner, which might be unfortunate, right? We'll see how. Like, like Plebs might still tie some other team. Who knows? I mean, uh, no beaches. Mm, I, I, I think you. Like... I think like you guys had a like such a clear strategy against Surf Slayer on on uh, on Hidden City, City, trying to defend the wall. Like that was that was really smart. Oh, I can, um, if I can talk about it, because yeah, yeah, for I think sure. Maybe no because... one got it, but uh, like it, it there was is a big you know, brain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. really <laughs> big brain. Because mm -hmm. you know uh, when we do the ban. Like yeah. the, all the time, uh, Surf banned the Reaper, and so mm -hmm. I was like, okay, Surf play a lot of cards, and they banned the Reaper, so they will miss some power to push. Yeah. So what I think is, was like, okay, I want to play the wall, so they will not be able to play the cav, because mm -hmm. uh, they are good cav player, yeah. but I want them to get the more cav possible. So I banned Modao, so they was like, no Modao is free cav, so <laughs> they just pick more cav and more anti-cav, because they was expecting us to play more cav, yeah. and just I put myself on the wall <laughs> and wait them. <laughs> And so, like, yeah. it was just free win on the draft, the defense. Uh, yeah, we, absolutely. We, we failed a bit the attack, but uh, I was up here. Yeah, that was a shame, but definitely, like, at the end of the defense, you could see, like, Nine Fingers was casting, and he said at the end, oh, seriously, I have more units, they should be able to win now, but then you could see all the Kev running around, and they couldn't do anything. That was so <laughs> funny. horses not getting on the wall, man. Yeah, they couldn't get on the wall, so it was, like, whatever. Yeah, that was Actually, really like, when Matt talk, talked us through, because it was his idea, and he wanted to, like, he, talk, he talked about this idea before, be making the band we were all like uh, you you're, you're crazy it's it's not yeah. going to work it's not going to work yeah. oh yes yes it did yes and, yes uh, it did definitely it's been a pain in the ass since then but <laughs> <laughs> big brain big yeah brain. like basically like he said like he said in vocal when he came after the game because we we got we got him on the stream <laughs> and he, he the first thing he said he, he was uh, the only limit to my brain is the galaxy size <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all. <laughs> can say that. <laughs> I was proud of this one. This one was really. Uh, you, be... know, you know, it's big draft thing. So yeah, exactly, exactly. I'll be using this in the in the podcast side for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just it's crazy. All right. Yeah, right good stuff. yeah, exactly. Very good stuff. You, you might have to rename the team now. Like tr <laughs> with Triki, we were always. Almost going to rename our team if we had lost this round. Like I don't know, to try a key too late or something. I don't know. We would have changed it to something, <laughs> but uh, yeah, at least we didn't do it. But but you might have to change it to uh, I don't know, no beaches, uh, galaxy brain or something. <laughs> Big brain, <laughs> Big brain. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's move on then. Um, yeah. So both divisions, feudal and rustic, are still like so exciting. It's, it's going to be really fun. Um, do you feel like you still might, may have a chance to get first place? Do you? Ex no, and to be honest, like I said, when we built up the team, we was like, we have to don't be relegated. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, we was a new team in the top bracket, so... I mean, for us, we didn't really think about the first place. When we do the draw against Surf, we was like, oh, maybe there is a possibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, after we know that we have to face Pleb, and uh, was unlucky what happened this week, to be honest, because maybe we have a chance to take a game to Pleb and we will think about it. But no, when we lose against Pleb, we know that for the first place it's done. Yeah. And for the second place, it will not depend on the first, it will depend on the surf Sayer. And yeah, exactly. uh, like, we have to win all our match, but uh, this is like the work that we have to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know that if, if uh, surf uh, win, uh, we are not going to get the second place. But this is more the goal than the first. The first yeah. wasn't the goal at the start. Yeah, exactly. That's clear. So, and that's the other thing. So, if uh, Surf Slayer lose against Plebs, then uh, you and uh, Surf Slayer will get to play a tiebreaker for the second uh, match or for the second place at the end of the season. And that that might also be fun. So, um, yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, might might be fun regardless of what happens in the last round. Um, all right, so you don't expect to get first place anymore. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, Plebs definitely really strong. Um, how did you go into prepping? Because uh, before we started the podcast, you guys were talking a lot about scrimming and how busy the schedule was and everything. So just tell me more about uh, the, it. The, 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 the last week was, was horrible. And that's what I said like, before the podcast. I was talking about, you know, the team start to become a bit uh, uh, bored to scrim. And like mm -hmm. last week, we get cancelled. 
four scream on the on five. So you know when you have to face Pleb and your only training is like two game and it was against Odin, mm -hmm. uh, which one we got a, we got a, you know a big gap so uh, the game wasn't close so you didn't we didn't even see what we can you know change to make it better. Yeah. So we come uh, with Pleb after like two game. Uh, normally you know to prepare software we do like twelve mm -hmm. game in the in the <laughs> week. So big difference yeah. and when you see the red, like how, how the match was close and uh, that we was. You know, we we just missed little detail. I just feel like uh, if I if only I can get some uh, some scream and uh, they don't be cancelled, I uh, will still be able to to take at least one uh, like the defense, because the defense it was more about like the unit that I pick. I pick too much Siladar and uh, but that's the thing that you have to see in scream and you change it. And uh, when you don't get the scream, you don't change the unit comp and you get fucked. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a bit sad about and that's why I was like uh, I was talking about you about uh, putting more time between two match. Because I feel like uh, like last last uh, last week, I asked uh, for for uh, for some scream, but all the times I have to cancel because of the number. Same for mm -hmm. kebab, and this this are the like the, the more tired team, you know, the one who are probably practicing the more. And yeah. even for them, it's tough to do three scream in the, in every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yes, like yeah, I agree. So there's yeah there. You also wanted to talk with with us about um, about like the next season, right? For example, the schedule. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sure, we can. Uh, for, for me, actually, the, I love the fact that we we change map because uh, that that give more opportunity to change strat and for the even for the caster and the, the viewer, it's mm -hmm. more interesting to see you know new map. But like a new map every week, uh, if I have to get to tell you my planning as captain, mm -hmm. uh, the Monday I take a big break. <laughs> Tuesday, I, st I have to uh, I also have to prepare the TW, but I mainly prepare the the strat of the map. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, I have to play the first game. Yep. So my evening is done. Uh, Tuesday my evening do done because of the TW. So Thursday uh, we scream two and Friday we scream two. Uh, Saturday TW and Sunday <laughs> we have to play. And so you know it's like it's so much, right? It's like six days uh, of so much, late. Yeah. Yeah, really. and and all the planning and strategizing that that's so much yeah. involvement from like anyone. It's crazy. I, I have the same because with the tournament like organizing all of it like. People don't yeah. realize how much time I spend yeah, on it yeah. every single Great. day. Like I'm, I'm getting messages the whole day through, like mm. during my work or whatever. It's, it's, it's insane actually. But yeah. <laughs> but that's good. That means that you will need a break like us, so you will. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Because actually, to, like I don't, I don't know how the how other team think about but for me you you really need three scream you need like one first game to discover a bit the map to mm -hmm. uh, think about the strat uh, like you pick a random compo if you need a, a bit yeah. uh, you need a, after the second scream you know you 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 try what you think is the best mm -hmm. and at the third scream you just finalize and you know uh, start to work on the detail yeah, exactly. but you need three in two or in one it's not enough yeah, and so maybe. three scream in one week is mm -hmm. too much yeah so it's, it's definitely a lot and I, like I, I agree with you so I think that like over time, like like for, like some maps are new, right? And if they are new to the tournament, then we don't know what the strategies might be. Like for example, Hidden City was totally new for all teams. Like we hadn't played on it before, so then it's like really intense. But on let's say Walford, every single team knows Walford in the tournament. So I think like Walford takes maybe one or two scrims, and then you're good to go because you just need to figure out what units are the best now mm. in the in the patch, right? I mean, it it, it could be easier. The thing with Wal Walford is a good example because the meta itself on Walford changed from last season to this mm. season. Look That's at how true. look at the the use of outriders. Yeah. Last season there were a lot of outriders on Walford. This season there were not so much. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's all it, it it all comes down to the patches and same like Huska Huska coming out. What is the name of the T5? I forgot, Matt. The, the uh, No, the the no, T5 the, the, of this season. The, the van. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. The, the the golden viking let's call it <laughs> let's call them that yeah, the, exactly. the golden vikings i'm pretty sure they're going to completely break the meta, break the meta. it's going to be yeah. a complete wipe so and every time it, 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 like same like this week like the the imp shield uh going down to 220 and then yeah, going up insane. to 130 mm -hmm. this is completely changing every team code. yeah like, like you, the 230 is play, changing everything yeah, yeah. yeah. The and, and so, you play you play the map at different spot so yeah. Season after season, you have to restart totally exactly. what you do before. Yeah. Okay, you still have a base, of course. The mm -hmm. base is still here, but you st it doesn't mean that the, uh, that it doesn't need yeah. a lot of work to, to, to go yeah, around. I, get it, I, get it. I don't know. I, so... In my opinion, uh, an easy way might be, I don't know, to make like the 
two or three matches on the same map. See what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So keep the same schedule, but That's have two what maps. I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so basically, what I'm thinking right now is a couple of things. So, um, the moment the patch gets out and there's a lot of updates, um, mm -hmm. like, you maybe want to have like a like they do in, in League of Legends, for example. When a patch is out, it's not going live on uh, on, on on any uh, yeah. competition for one or two weeks, right? Because teams yeah, exactly. need, need time to adjust. Like and, and yeah, that, yeah. that might be fair. Like we tried to do it last week with the runes and the new seasonal unit. Like we didn't allow it for one week, uh, and not allowing units for um, for a week or is is easy. Like the runes were fucked up because like we had to check yeah. everything, and that's just really annoying. But units are very easy to check, so that's doable. Yeah, the, the new T5 you yeah. should really forbidden it. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. Actually, it's like more than two weeks. If you don't want to pay, it's more than two weeks to unlock yeah, exactly. it. And exactly. it will break the meta, so if you allow it, that just force the people to mm -hmm. pay it. So yeah. and and for me, it's not the mindset of the tournament. Yeah, exactly. And the good thing is this this, this Cyber Rival season will finish in three weeks, so we won't see the, the gold unit in, the, in this uh, in this in, in this league, at least. I'm pretty sure this season. Good. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I can promise you that already. Yeah, that, <laughs> For anyone who was okay. hoping to to get a surprise win in the last round uh, just by with spamming the, the golden vikings yeah um <laughs> so that's one thing and then about the schedule um next season for those who haven't seen it yet um i plan to do 10 teams in each division if okay. everything goes according to plan because it uh, means that we get nine weeks um to finish the whole season and that fits perfectly in the Con concourse blades regular season mm -hmm. like the the whole tw season uh, seasonal stuff um, and that means that if you have nine weeks, let's imagine having nine weeks different map every week. Like that's that's way too much. So I want to do like four, maybe like four times the same map. So two, 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 and then in the last uh, round you have maybe like a capital map. That would be ah, better, I think. Mm, yeah. I, like for me, that like if I if I could, for this season. Mm -hmm. Even if you keep this format, you, you should have the break at the time. And then, like, give us two two week break at the middle of the season. Yeah, yeah, of course, and uh, that will definitely happen because um, uh, there are like international holidays that I have to make sure are not in the way, like most of the time. So <laughs> there, like, you're, 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 you're. <laughs> that is so hard, man. Like seriously, yeah. there's, why yeah, are there so many holidays in the world? Like, I don't get it. Just get them out of it. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I don't need those. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in your place. Yeah, it's really hard. Thank you, thank you. It. Yeah. But yeah, like definitely, we need, like we need. If I got, you know, like I, I play four match already. If mm -hmm. I got a break, like two week, I will be. This would be okay, you know, four week of rush, two week of break, and uh, after we can really go for the last week. So for next season, maybe you should think about a little break at the half of the season. Yeah, for sure. And uh, for the map, you know, I I am scared that even if you like put two, two the same map two times in a row, you will have to start new thing because uh, 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 the people will know how you play it the first time. So mm -hmm. you will have to, to think about new thing or they will just be prepared to what you do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm not it's, sure that's... Uh... still easier than starting a whole new map. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah it's easier, but... Uh... Yeah. I don't know if that that will clean the shit. For me, but, for me, the best the way the best way should be to to get one match every two week. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, I can understand that the season will be too long. Maybe yeah, you have to. Sure. You can do like, uh, you know, two two group mm -hmm. in one uh, in one division. You do two group and you do a playoff at the end, like in uh, uh, in uh, football, an American football. Yeah, yeah I get you it. know, they get like uh, two 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 side. Yeah, it's uh, a, oh. it's the same that we had last uh, last season, right? Where you yeah, group A and group B. Group A and group but, B and uh, played the playoffs. Yeah. No. Actually, there might also be some way. Like, you, like, let's say, wouldn't it be technically possible to have like, let's say, uh, to have like uh, teams playing twice each Sunday, but then they have a break, and you see, like, it's like a, mm. yeah, they're, they're taking turn. Like one on one Sunday, you're going to have like, a, okay, with ten, it's a, it's a bit trickier. But like, <laughs> let's say there is eight team. On one Sunday, you're going to have four teams battling it out, and on the next Sunday, it's the four over team this yeah, way yeah, yeah. But, but but each team has two games per sunday mm -hmm. this way you because i mean if you're playing once or twice the preparation is the same man mm -hmm. right yeah that might work so one thing i just also, an idea yeah, yeah exactly oh, it's, it's, i think it's really good and um one thing that i've also noticed is that um in the play in division there are seven teams and that means that one team always has a break yeah. And I think that also really helps uh, because yeah. Oh, yeah. then you automatically have a break. So <laughs> maybe just doing nine teams instead of ten also already might, helps. Yeah, might you know. do the trick. Yeah, might do the trick. But then there will always be one, two teams that are a bit like fucked because uh, one team will have to break in the first week and one team will have to break in the last week. 
But, well, yeah. You, nah. you, you gotta pick your poison, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, uh, and still, it, 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 it's also to take into account that, I mean, team are not on the on the same uh, level in terms of players. I mean, look at Nobichis, we're like 25, right, Mad? Maybe mm -hmm. maybe even more? We're, we're about 25. Mm, uh, as a true, as, 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 as no, no sub, uh, uh, 22, I would say. <laughs> 22, 23, yeah, something like that. Pleb is like uh, 30. And mm -hmm. there are teams that are like, 15 or six, like 17 like for the, for those teams getting skin, screams all the time must be so hard yeah, i don't absolutely. know how they manage to have enough players all the time mm -hmm. and that's why screams are getting cancelled actually yeah for but sure yeah, yeah. or that's we see screams that are like 10 feet 10 right because yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah but like for example you know Cersei-er, uh what they want to do is they want to keep playing at the same group of people so they are only 18 in the in the team mm -hmm. yeah. so for them Every, every every member have to be there for the scheme or there is no scheme and yeah. so for a team like this it's tough to stay long in the season and mm -hmm. uh, you know the full tryout this season not sure they will try two season in a row because mm -hmm. we got the cbl after and so they mm -hmm. want to so probably try to take a break so yeah. i don't know like i really like the, the form this format but definitely if we want some uh, country some uh, some like a uh, long-term vision for the team yeah. and uh, don't see team disbanding every year uh, every season, mm -hmm. we should we should be careful about this. Yeah, for I, sure. like, even you, for the player, it's too much. Yeah, you you don't want to see players burn out. Like you 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 exactly. you already see it uh, with the TW season, right? F after the TWs have ended, like the official ones, then there's always so many players that just stop playing the game for a week or two, and then then they come. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So totally makes sense, and and th there will always be a break, of course, after each season. Like we had, we had no no CB rifle season for. Three weeks, I believe. It was three three week mm -hmm. break. So, but th there should be a bit more breaks in between. Maybe we'll see. It's definitely something I have to keep in mind uh, for the next season. Yeah. Good questions. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Not a problem. No problem. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, and good ideas as well. This is the thing of a tired captain. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy, right? You, you can just s s like spout. You can just uh, say any nonsense you want, and um, I just have to deal with no, it. No, but like, yeah. like if, if, as, as you may see, like for me the. In the most important part of uh, the match of the Sunday is the preparation, like mm -hmm. the strat and the yeah. and how much like uh, energy you have to put it in the strat to mm -hmm. to sink a lot. And uh, I feel like some team became bored. Uh, like like Sir Canop, there was less diversity in terms of strat, less preparation uh, uh, fr from the match at the sea. So that means that people start to think that okay, uh, screaming is too much, so we, mm -hmm. we are going to do it. Uh, Yep. No fast and uh, don't care of the fit. So, yeah, so and, that's my, not my vision. So. Yeah, exactly. And what about this? So I don't know how it, how it is with your teams or other or other teams, but um, when I scrim with Trike, we only do two two games: so one attack, one defense. Um, but I think that if you if you plan it a little bit better, you can easily do f like four games or maybe even six games in in like one night. Wouldn't that six six start, it? start to be long? Yes, we, we six do, will be long. We do but, four. Yeah, four. Yeah, we do four we, games. Then. Yeah, m m most of the big team do four because mm -hmm. uh, uh, most of the time you have to do too much uh, too much with the ban of one team and too mm -hmm. much with the yeah, ban sure. of the other team. Uh, and but you know, like for example, we scream a lot, pleb. Uh, and most of the time we lose, <laughs> and so you know it's tough for the player to do like four four lose in a row in the same uh, in the same. Yeah, you... Even if you scream and you are learning, but like it's tough to still. So. <laughs> yeah, after, after losing four times against Plap, I imagine you want to back, go back to your sieges and stomp some uh, some other guys. You know. <laughs> no, I just just want to keep the game. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> good game. Ah, oh, poor guy. <laughs> But yeah, so so defi definitely for me, if the preparation is the most important phase, and uh, uh, screaming, you can scream a lot, but uh, if people are not uh, fully in, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, like the, the the important people of your team don't come, the scream will be useless. So yeah, sure. like it's it's useless to put too much and don't just don't mm -hmm. be the the good one at it. So yeah, yeah, that's my mind. Something that uh, Quarter always likes to say is uh, less is more. Keep it simple. Um, so mm. yeah. And that also applies for not burning out players or teams and anything else. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, Corto. Anything else you would like to bring up about uh, good ideas for the for the seasons? Um, like this, no. But for, no, just I want to react on the, mm -hmm. what you say. Uh, I think yes, the, the best idea is to have uh, an empire pool, uh, an empire. Uh, like you say, the. The playing division, there are only seven teams. Yeah. So uh, every uh, every every week we have one team that uh, don't play, and uh, it's a good way to have a break sometime. 
uh, this is a good idea mm -hmm. because to make a break in the middle of the season you you have um, only one break and so you prepare only the next match and after the, you need to to go again in a in a rush for uh, three or two weeks but uh, for, uh, for 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 us for organizer it's uh, it's an important subject so subject uh, to um, to 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 conserve uh, the, the team on the long way mm. on the long time so yes it's interesting like, like to, to give to, to to give you an example at the start of the CBL we got like uh, one full month and so during the full month uh, we know that the first map will be uh, Kurak and Wolfhart and mm -hmm. so during one month I have time to prepare Kurak and Wolfhart and so when the you know when the, the two first week come I was like okay we don't need to scam that much because we already do it before mm -hmm. and on the longer time. So it was, you know, more easier for the team. We do like, uh, we do more scheme that we do on the other map, but we do it in one month. So it was uh, yeah, yeah. fully chill. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But then with yeah. with the speed that changes are coming in this season, uh, if you prep a, a map one month ago and now suddenly there's uh, Berserkers, Huskarls and uh, lots of other units, then yeah, yeah, that's you that's might have to like do it again. Like if you bring your bets, uh, come, yeah, you're fucked. Yeah, well, <laughs> one month is too long. No, yeah, too long. for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. For sure. Yeah. But, like two uh, weeks is good, one month is too long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a sweet spot there. Yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, uh, actually, my game do a lot of Omega and Booming, a developer game, uh, do a lot of uh, change of unit mm -hmm. because uh, they know they, they need to to update a lot of units if uh, they are uh, um, useful. Yeah. But uh, I think in the in the long way, uh, the the meta of unit need uh, stability, more stability, and uh, uh, it's more easy to to play uh, more often because actually we have only one event. But uh, if you imagine in the long way, um, we have more event and more match in uh, in the week. It's uh, it's um, it's important to know. But it will be a bit difficult. Yeah, for sure. Be there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, that's good. Um, all right, so. Uh, Maybe we come back to this discussion or we come up with something else, doesn't matter. But um, I just want to make sure that we have talked about the games that are ahead of us uh, on next Sunday before we jump off into next season, which is so far away yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to bring up the, the games again. Um, you can see it, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right, perfect. Uh, so let's start with the play in division again. Um, and I, I can also give you the predictions that are on a Discord channel right now. Um, not everybody might have voted, but we'll just do it with what we got. Um, so for round five, we are playing on Dasuo Fort, the full map. Uh, last season there was a little spot that was banned, this allowed this time. We're playing full runes, full heroes, everything is allowed, so whatever is there in the game is available. Um, okay, round five, Impact Esports versus Wildblood. Uh, according to the vote, it is right now uh, Impact Esports, a clear favorite, 34 4 to 9. Looking for team against Divinity is uh 16 to 23 for divinity then we have paella old school versus crypta and that will be uh 28 to 12 for paella old school i'm curious about that one we'll see um yeah. yeah uh what do you think i would not be the i mean the first two i mean i'm not saying that crypta will take it but i wouldn't i would not say that if paella is winning it would not be like a, by a, by a landslide like mm -hmm. that like the vote seems to indicate yeah yeah i, I agree um I think Impact Esport against Wildblood, Impact should be the clear favorite. Looking for team against Divinity might be a pretty close one because they, they are both uh, at the bottom of the standings, both still shaping up, I will say. So uh, yeah, that might be a close battle for sure. Uh, okay. If we go to the Rustic Division round five, uh, YAA versus Baguette Munchers. Uh, that should be YAA favorite with 37 to six, uh, clearly, I guess. Holy Crusaders versus Odin's Legion is uh, let me check here. Uh, four for Holy Crusaders, 36 for Odin's Legion. I think this is pretty rough. Uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah, this is rough. But yeah. I think the results still. Yeah, definitely. And like Holy Crusaders are doing so well this season. They are like they uh, probably could have beaten Chocolate Palance as well. And um, they only lost against like the really good teams like YA Kebabs. Um, so that makes mm. sense. Now against Odin's. Well, Odin's are clearly the favorite, I would say, if you look at the standings, but still. I think Holy Crusaders should get a bit more. Odin is the gatekeeper of the first three plays for now. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So if if Holy Crusaders manage to like upset Odin's Legion, then Holy Crusaders is definitely in for a third place run. 
So that'd be a really nice game to watch. Uh, Triki vs Chocolate Paladins. Let's see if Triki can continue their win streak. Um, not according to the vote. 14 for Triki and 27 for Chocolate Paladins. Kebabs versus Love and Devotion, 33 to 5. Makes sense since Love and Devotion is at the bottom right now. Um, so no surprise there. Uh, Feudal Division. Uh, let's get that one here as well. Uh, we got Rose versus Surf Slayer. I think for the Feudal Division, actually, this week it might be the easiest to predict. And like all games are like top teams against the teams that are at, more at the bottom. Uh, mostly, at least. So Slavs yeah. Blame Allies, 3 to 40. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slot uh, lockers versus plebs. Let's not talk about no bitches versus Pondegard, 29 to 9. And Rose versus Surf Slayer, 5 to 36. Um, Pondegard might actually win against you. Who knows? How, uh, you, how, yeah. like, how you, confident you are you against Pondegard? <laughs> you want the political answer or, the, the, or my feel? <laughs> both. Oh, both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, Pondegard is one of the biggest team who exists in CB, you know, they are there from the season mm -hmm. 5, they are all players who know each other. Yeah. So, you know, at the start of the season, uh, I will not be confident, but uh, from the performance, that's what I see from the start of the season, look like they lose some players, maybe they lose a bit of motivation, maybe they, you know, they stop screaming this this season. You know, it's hard, like, Surf Slayer was not that good uh, last season, and those are really good, so mm -hmm. it really depends on the investment that the team do and look like. They are not full invest in this one. So, I will scream a lot this week, so I'm confident. <laughs> I will say that I'm confident and expecting that there will be no surprise, but the map is... Uh, Dazio is a bit... Uh, a cheesy map, because we don't play it a lot in tournaments. Mm -hmm. there is, the map is big, so there is a lot of pass and shit to do, so... Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I was... Like, convinced you were going to say we're going to destroy Pond Guard, but... Okay, <laughs> you, you, you kept it easy on them, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, All the time be and after yeah. all you can trust. Yeah, yeah, he, he learned humility <laughs> this uh, season, apparently. All right. No, but like you said, Pondgard is, is almost like a legacy team, yeah. I think, for at least for Conquest Blade, for how short uh, it's, it's been there. Um, with the competitive scene, but Pondgard is one of the first teams that played in the tournaments. Like, they're, they're really big, but like, Pine isn't playing for the team this season, he's taking a break. Um, Dealer for Life is taking a break. Like so many big players from the team are taking a break this season. I mean, Dealer was the shot caller. The guys who do the strat, exactly. one of the best players. So yeah, mm -hmm. and they lose like five people like this. So yeah, the, the team is uh, yeah. is in tough situation actually. Yeah. So it will be like it would be a big deception for us if we don't win, because mm -hmm. uh, like we want to play the, the the second places. So we have to win Blamedias and Pongard. Yeah. Uh, to be sure that we get it. So yeah, exactly. I expect it. I expect to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You're confident. That's good. That's good. And at least you get the scrim this week, so that also helps, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I hope you're not scrimming Triki because then you might lose. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, that was enough flame for Triki this time again. Um, thank you, guys. I love you all. Uh, and I hope to play again with you Sunday. Anyway. Um, uh, we, do, we do a big scrim on Regino issue. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> you was practicing the Siladar when it just released. Oh, yeah. I it was tough. That was tough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to the next one then. Um, yeah. So that's it for next round. Next round, like I said, uh, Dusko Fort will be played on Sunday. Um, was there a little change? Yeah. Uh, Slavsk and Blame Elias will play on Saturday actually, uh, because there's the Polish uh, C like CB Rifles Polish League kind of uh, similar format, but only for Polish teams. And that final will be on Sunday, where Slavs play. So uh, that match will be played on Saturday. Um, yeah, okay. But everything else will be on Sunday, so that'll be good. Um, what else would you like to, uh, to talk about? Well, we don't talk about the match against Pleb. Yes, yeah. Like some, oh, yeah. Uh... yes. Oh, I think oh, the same. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking about it when we were talking about the two weeks ago about Surf Slayer, but yeah, Plebs. Uh, what happened, guys? What happened? Uh, uh, just one question. Je vais faire en français pour que ce soit plus simple. Est-ce que tu as dit tout à l'heure que dans les entraînements, vous vous êtes entraîné contre eux cette semaine et vous avez perdu quatre fois? Non, c'était les semaines d'avant. Ah, ok. Les semaines en gros, c'est les gens qu'on scream, mais pas la semaine où on les joue contre du coup. D'accord, ok, ok. Ça, oui, vas-y, vas-y. Just vas if, we, if we lose this week against. Uh, you know, this week, uh, the scream against Pleb, but yeah, no. We scream with them only uh, the other week. And uh, this week was a bit special because we can scream them because we are going to fight them. Yeah. And so, yeah, for the match, uh, as I said, we come, we come not confident on the map because when you are not prepared uh, as much as you want, mm -hmm. you are not confident. 
I was still expected to, to win the defense because I prepared something a bit cheesy. Maybe you can see in the comp. <laughs> uh, we were cheesy. playing. Yeah, we were playing like the like a CBL, CBL uh, rules. Yeah. So like double rotation of T5, because normally you just want to all in on A and B, and there is like time for two unit fight. So I was like, okay, big brain. I will play full T5. So if I do, you know, the the calculation of the uh, leadership on two fight. I will use more leadership, so that will mean I will get better unit uh, to be <laughs> like uh, short. So, so I was expecting this to be a difference, because normally uh, Pleb is one of the best team to in team fight actually in the game. Uh, and I was like, okay, we are just a team since uh, one a bit more than one month. So no, don't think I'm going to to beat Pleb uh, that easily. So I have to prepare something a bit uh, special, like we do against Surf. And uh, so I was confident in this, but the problem is like. I put too much Siladar, so the defense don't uh, manage to 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 win, because uh, they was playing a lot of Modo and Cav, and the Siladar get wiped in the you know in the big melee. Yeah. So I overcommit on it, and if I got more Cav, because uh, the Cav do really good job, mm -hmm. I will probably hold the defense. So got some regret on this, because I feel like it was more about the proper the, the preparation. Yeah, yeah. So with the Siladars, I get it. Um, but what I was wondering is, were you trying to, to play for the tie? Like, were you trying to focus on the defense or the attack? At the start, I want to do it. Mm -hmm. But to do it, like to focus on the on one side, you have to do scrim. And you know, during the scrim, I would say, okay, yeah, true, we are going true, to true. full focus on the defense. Yeah. But at the end, I was like, okay, we do one defense and one attack. <laughs> Why did, did we really focus on something? I don't think so. Okay, so, okay. but like the map looks it look easier to you, you know that has less preparation to just hold two points mm -hmm. or the rotation are, are not that hard you know it's like uh, a and b yeah but uh we definitely not lose on rotation we did great on it we but we lose on the on the on the unit because mm -hmm. uh, the comp wasn't good so it was my bad and the attack definitely the attack we missed the preparation because <laughs> <laughs> You can't, you like, you can't, uh, you know, imagine on the moment, and uh, you know they do the, they do, uh, they do a shit with the door when they close, when we push, and uh, yeah, like right. they open it at the start, and uh, this was my bad because I didn't ask mm -hmm. to push the ram because normally, like, this is why pleb is that strong. You know, mm -hmm. they, they work on small detail. Yeah, on probably. this map, no one cares about the doors because you can kill it in uh, 10 seconds with zero. Mm -hmm. So you never think about like, and the fact that they open the gate. My first uh, thing was like, okay, they wanna do something cheesy with Tercios to kill, uh, to kill one <laughs> two guys to win some time. I was like, okay, do your shit. I don't really care. Yeah, yeah exactly. I didn't imagine that they will play around the, the, the door and yeah. close it when we push. So that fuck us a bit, and you know that's my practice. Again, mm -hmm. like if we do some scrim, I will say, okay, by security, we push the ram, and that's all. Yeah. So this was tough, and. Uh, at the point we was close to win because uh, Gostex got, got big big wipe with the cav. Uh, <laughs> he wiped like all the exotic in the back was crazy, and uh, we just missed like two three hero kill to 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 cap the the point and maybe got a chance to win. Mm -hmm. So it was close. I'm happy that the match was that close even with the missing preparation because yeah. you know last time I played Surf, it was I played Pleb in tournament. It was with Eden on Wallfort. Mm -hmm. And uh, the match was kinda different. Yeah, it didn't go well. It was well. like <laughs> 200 unit kill at the end. So mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I was happy that to see that the unit uh, cl the unit clash was good. So mm -hmm. no regret on this. I feel that we can maybe do better, but that's the that's the part of the story. Sometimes uh, you are unlucky on the week, so happen. Yeah, I can accept it. Yeah, it's really nice. And I, I also rem remember now that when we had vasectomy over, we uh, talking about Eden, and he was also talking about how uh, Eden and Plebs have always been the like rifles, right? Like, no bitches don't really... And then, yes, because you know, yeah. they are in the same alliance on the one, mm -hmm. and you know, they are, they are fighting to, the, to to know who will be the best uh, house in TW between yeah, Origin yeah. and Eden, and Pleb is like the Origin roster. Mm -hmm. And uh, with no bitches, we got a bit of change, because like, we come from nowhere, mm -hmm. like we was, uh, we was nothing, so I don't want to place myself as the as a pleb rival after like the one month mm. playing that's not the like surf is actually the best rival for pleb that's yeah, it for sure. and yeah. uh, maybe in some uh, in some uh, in some uh, in some months or in some week will mm -hmm. be the, the the one the biggest challenger but for the moment there is no rivality it's more like our team are really uh, close to each other because mm -hmm. uh, uh, when we need a scream we go check them because they are fast they are a lot so they never miss people to it so uh, we scream a lot them uh, they are doing like all the time they are uh, really um, good you know to to counter what you do so you can think okay mm -hmm. there is weakness at this part of the plan so yeah. i keep them as a supra supra good ally to to scream 
and uh, the day where, where we'll become good enough, they maybe <laughs> stop giving us that much scream. So <laughs> yeah, hopefully somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah but... So no rivality for them. Yeah, that's for sure. And that is something that I really like about Clapped as well. That they are willing to scream any team. Like they even scrimmed against looking for team, for example. Like. Yeah, yeah, if you ask them, yeah. they will give you a scream. Yeah, they will give you a scream for sure. And uh, that's just so so good that for them. Like They're so clear favorites in every single match right now. Um, and like you said, uh, it, it's funny that... Uh, so what I noticed in, in Highland Short, and I'm curious about your ideas, um, to, uh, to your ideas about it, is that um, the lower teams, most of the lower teams, you can say, like in a play in division, just division, they were trying to push a, a B points quite often, <laughs> which um, most people know is not the best idea, but it worked quite often as well. Um, because... Maybe the execution wasn't good enough on the defense. Um, no, if, something... you, if you push me, it's yeah. about the rotation of the defense. So if yeah, you play yeah, against exactly. a weaker team, yeah. maybe they will slack the rotation. So. Yeah, 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 probably. So uh, that's one thing that I noticed. And the other thing is that um, something that you always see is that uh, the de defense on A is around the A point. Um, but this time, we also saw a lot of the defense actually at the gate. Um, and teams didn't allow, like they put an Imperial Shield wall or some Zikali in behind or Gunners behind. And it didn't even allow you to go through the gate. Um, is this something that's that... like? Yeah, yeah, that, that's how different the team on Frontier on the on the CBL. Mm -hmm. You know, they put one group at the right side of the gate, one group at the left side. Like Pleb do a bit against us, yeah. and they protect the up, so they get priority for uh, for some exotic on the wall, and mm -hmm. they don't get like a bomb from the top. So you don't if you don't drop the top, you don't get trouble with Falco and Coco. Yeah. And so they try. They kinda what they try to do it. I choose to not do it personally because. It's really tough to help the group at the full right. Mm -hmm. You know, if they push at, at uh, 50, uh, 15, the, the group on the right, uh, the time that you do the big turn for the other group is too long, so you get clap. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you, you can do it if you're really fast on rotation. And uh, for me, that's the type of defense that only big, big team can do, like Pleb, mm -hmm. uh, who are really fast on rotation. Even team like Seth are a bit slower than them uh, uh, on this type of fight. So. Mm -hmm. For me, it's probably the best strat because you are not uh, like no. The game is like if you keep the, keep the top, you are protecting from the Shinji and the Coco, yeah, and so you sense. win the fight. Mm -hmm. And on all the map, you want to keep the top as much as you can, uh, uh, like on the point that you want to fight. But uh, it's really tough to do on this one. And for me, fight on A is more easier because if mm -hmm. you let them the space to get on A, that means that you can calf from the top, you can calf from the from the, the B side, mm -hmm. you can uh, also calf from the bridge side. If you go by the little gate, yeah. you can flank by the little gate. And so that means a lot of way to flank them if you let them the space. On most of the match, you don't want to, to let the space. You, you, you know you want to, to stack your enemy, to bomb them with Coco and shit, and they get one shot. Mm -hmm. But on this one, I was like, okay, we are going to let them the space and try to flank from every side. That's what we do Kenda, but we miss some, uh, some cave as I said, and uh, it should work. And the defense at the gate is good, but uh, too, too hard to do. And uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the only player can do shit like this uh, yeah. in the Europe, actually. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on a different league, it feels like sometimes. Yeah, but uh, good to hear that you're actually also keeping an eye on the, the frontier. They are definitely doing like so many cool things there in the, in the tournaments. And we have also three teams now that play in it as well, right? I don't know if, if you're all, all still in it, but uh, kebabs, plebs, and. Uh, Who's the turkey? Inject. Inject. Uh, yeah. Inject, but I don't know if they continue since it is. Yeah, good. might be. Yeah, who knows? But yeah, so that's really fun. Uh, we get to see more strategies from uh, from that division, or like part of the world as well. Um, but play, play, play try to do a push before. Like, yeah. is it, is it, because when I was, uh, you know, thinking about the map, I got a little idea of what I want to do in attack. Mm. I want to do something similar to, to what they do, like to push only B with zero, yeah. to make them rotate, and after you can fast respawn uh, for the A and take the priority on point. Yes. But like, because I wanted to do this, mm -hmm. and I, I, uh, like it was in my mind, I know that it should be in their mind, so I pressured it a bit, and so it was a bit <laughs> fucked up, so I was happy about it. Yeah. But that's not enough to win. It's a good strategy, because in the two cases, you, uh, you win. Because if you don't take the point, uh, no, if you take the point, the, the supply point on B, uh, you can spawn with unit and go in the back of the, of the defense. Yeah. And uh, if you don't take the point, you, you, oblige, you make a diversion, you oblige uh, the defense on A to move. And uh, uh, some players death because uh, they fight, okay? But uh, some attackant go on C point and go on the, on the back to, to make some crumble. Uh, to some trouble and to oblige uh, um, the, the, the defense to move. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the beginning of the match, so uh, so the, the respawn is very short and uh, you, you come back directly on the A point to make the push. 
So in the yeah. two sides, you are you, you win to make yeah, this move. The, the, the only like the only part of risk on this strat is like um, you give a timer, so you give like uh, 20 seconds by by hero, mm -hmm. and after if you die a second time, it will be again 20 seconds, and you know you got only six minutes to take A and B or B, so yeah. it's like a big risk, you know, to to give mm -hmm. some minute to the enemy like this. Yeah. Uh, but normally, yeah, you take an advantage on the rotation about it. So, like, a lot of team try to do it, mm -hmm. and maybe it will become a, be a meta. But uh, yeah. think you can do a full push from A if you do it greatly. Yeah, yeah, definitely can. But yeah, the hunting floor is quite a. In, in the end, it's quite a big map, and there's so many ways to attack it. It's it's pretty fun, I believe. Um, all right, guys, so we're well over an hour, so we we have to wrap it up. Um, unfortunately, you know, like we can no again, we, we we can keep <laughs> yes. talking, and maybe we should. Um, but we'll, we do have to conclude this because I don't think someone is going to watch or listen for two hours. Maybe someone will, but let's not do that. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, your final thoughts, guys. Um, anything you want. It could be about Sunday, it could be about your team, it could be about Jack, it could be about, I don't know. Um, anything. Uh, um, Ar Arca, let's go. Well, actually, it's. Uh, I'm really curious to see how, how the, the end of the season is going to wrap up. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm the only. I just wanted to talk quick, and this will be the final thought. You said you said something about pleb and kebab going into not checked anymore, going into the frontier, and this is the thing that I'm worried about because I don't know about kebab, but the pleb already has such a big advance on everything in mm -hmm. Europe for now. I mean, people don't really realize that people are never underlining it, but they only lost one map in two seasons mm -hmm. so far, one map against Spawn Guard in the final of a season zero or whatever you want to call it. So it's crazy performance. And yeah. with Frontier, I, f I fear that they will just only keep on getting more in advance in terms of meta compared to everything we're doing mm -hmm. in Europe. And I, I feel like, I mean, of course, it's, that's great that they're doing that, good for them. But I, I, I actually fear that if you want to be competitive at the top level in Europe, if you need in addition to every criminal to actually go do matches in Asia, in Asia. I mean, man, yep. that's almost a full-time job. Yeah, well, more than a full-time job because you have to yeah. live during the day in, in Europe and during the day in Asia. So it's exactly. like 24 seven job, yeah. So it's amazing for what mm -hmm. they're bringing in Europe and don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of plebs, yep. but I fear for what's coming in terms of top level in yeah. Europe. You but fear so. for the health of the players in Europe. Yeah, exactly. I got you. So yeah. the, I mean, we've been talking about burnout and stuff, so yeah, yeah that's I it. I get it. Yeah. So make sure to have fun, guys. And let's yeah. take it easy. Take it easy on us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. Please. Uh, <laughs> Matchin, anything from you? Uh, I'm proud of my DTR team. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. <laughs> all right, good. Corto, anything from you? Uh, I'm always uh, always happy to to see the vestments of the player uh, because uh, they say a lot of things on the other team. Or every player are very invested mm. in the game and uh, to 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 give the high level of the game of the of game. So it's always a, a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. absolutely. I cannot agree more with you. Um, if I've learned anything over the past three weeks, where we've had a few hiccups and bumps and like weird little rulings that I had to make. Um, it is that everyone is very passionate about the league and I appreciate all of you uh, contri contributing so much uh, to it. So we will continue it for sure. Um, and we'll just continue to make it better. We might make some mistakes, but it happens. Um, it's it's still well, really fun. So Also, thank you so to you, CB, and to Koto. Thank you for... I mean, uh, I don't think that people are praising enough the whole fucking machine that it, this is. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm seeing all the channel, uh, the, the caster and all, so so fair, thank you for doing that. This is something we've been talking with Matt since Season 7. Mm -hmm. The game needs that, and thank you for bringing that. It's crazy. Yeah, thank you so much. It's, it's yeah. yeah, it's great. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. That's it for this week. Uh, we will see you again next week. Um, oh, and that is the final thing. Uh, is there anything, anyone you would like to see as a guest on a podcast, specifically? If you want to create some big drama, you can take Amya. <laughs> Amya. Yeah, we actually yeah. tried to get Amya in once, so we might try it again. Yeah, we'll get see. Ready for the, yeah. Okay, you, you, need, you, you need to have a, 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 a key to mute him sometimes. You, right. you need no. to be able to mute him. Ah, je, peux, je peux répondre, je peux réagir à ce niveau-là. J'ai déjà essayé d'avoir Amya et euh, il est vraiment pas fan pour venir discuter de tout ça. Et puis, bon, à l'époque, on avait essayé, il avait des problèmes avec sa famille, il pouvait pas être présent. 
mais euh, on, on, a, on a déjà essayé. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, but thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to get some players in eventually. Like, not just a team captain. So, good idea. All right. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you. Have fun on Saturday and Sunday because there will be uh, games on both days. Um, and uh, see you on the Discord. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.